Hi guys and welcome to Car Focused. Now, no surprises today. You can probably see in the background I've got my Mark III RS here and we are at Scorpion. Now, it's been a while. Um, I've had the car for two years now and I've done a few modifications, but I think it's time to get a cat-back exhaust fitted to the RS. Just needs a little bit more, you know, aggression from the rear, louder pops and bangs, and you can never go wrong with more noise. So I've spoken to the guys here at Scorpion. I'm gonna get the car in in a minute, get it up on the ramps and get this exhaust fitted. But before we do that, I wanna quickly show you Let's have a quick look. Got a couple of their demo cars here. So this is their Fiesta ST with all the Scorpion livery and a nice Mark 7.5 Golf R. So yeah, these are nice. Obviously, uh, going to be modelling the Scorpion exhaust there. Got nice carbon tips on this one. It's going to focus in. And then the Fiesta ST. We've got the same again. Nice set of carbon tips there. Doesn't want to focus. So yeah. Hopefully in about an hour and a half, two hours, we're gonna have this stock exhaust will be gone. And we'll have a nice scorpion system. So anyway, let's get the car in and uh, get this exhaust fitted. Right guys, we've got the car up on the ramp um, inside the workshop here at Scorpion and we've got the exhaust system down on the floor below. I'm really excited to get these changed over. Um, I've got Charles here with me, he works at Scorpion, he's their social media guy. Yeah, so Charles, um, I've been using Scorpion exhaust, well I used, I had a Fiesta RS Turbo back in, God, 2005 I think, and that had a, a full Scorpion system. I've had another Mark III with Scorpion. So I know you guys have been around for quite a while. Um, what year? So you... we're, we're in actually, we're, this is our 27th year in business. Wow, 27 um, years. Yeah, I've been in the company six years, so I'm getting on a bit now. <laughs> Unfortunately, the RS uh, Turbo was along, quite long before my yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I sort of grew up with the, the new STs and Focus RSs and stuff like that. Um, so these are like your sort of, this is your current market, isn't it? Yeah, the modern. This, this is our current market. Um, I mean, we're developing going forward for all, for all the fast forward range. Yeah. And you also cater for what you've got a Golf R outside, yeah. haven't you? Uh, we've got a lot of development cars. Um, one of them being the new Fo uh, Fiesta ST, sorry. Yeah. Uh, the Mark 8. That's going to be a popular um, car, isn't it? It is a popular car, yeah. And you guys also do a lot of motorbikes, don't you? Yep. Yeah, so. Um, so you've got a few we've motorbikes got a massive here. Massive range of motorcycle exhausts from going back to the early. 80s right up to the current range 20, 2018 2019 models so. yeah so that's something i didn't really know I, I sort of knew about the cars but not so much about the motorbike so obviously on the floor here we've got the the new system which is going to be yep. fitted to the rs um do you want to tell us a little bit about this yep. so this is the it's a three inch system for the focus rs it's constructed out of two three four stainless steel yep um so there's quite a few different options for the for the mark three focus rs um it is a non-resonator system initially, but yep. you can um, select either a valved or a non-valve section. Okay, so um, we've gone for the valve yeah, section so, here, obviously. So this is the valve section. Um, the the OE motor fits straight onto there, and then it works as, as it would on the OE system with a drive mode select button. Okay, oh, so you um, put the stock motor... Yeah, the stock motor goes on there, and it so works as normal there. on the drive mode select button inside the car. Okay. Um, Pretty straightforward then. Yeah, pretty straightforward. So the non-valve system, um, again, it comes with a kit which houses the valve um, away from the system. Yeah. So the, the car still thinks the valve's attached, but obviously you've got the, the more constant noise. Yeah. Um, continuously. So it's basically you have to weigh up if you want the the constant sort of loudness, yeah. or you want to have the kind of choice to have yeah. this uh, valve fitted, which makes it quieter so when it you want it. It's more a personal choice that one. Um, I mean, I always prefer to put the valve in place um, just so you can use it. Yeah. Um, for no reason, really. No, that's fair enough. Um, moving on to the silencer. Um, so we do do a lot of work internally on the silencer. Okay. Um, for acoustics, we try and eliminate as much as the drone as possible. Um, so on, on the motorway and stuff like that, when you're cruising at 70 miles an yeah. hour, there's no frequencies in the cabin that 
parts actually get really annoying. I must admit that was, I've been worrying a little bit about the drone because the, the stock exhaust, um, it's actually quite good. It's, it's pretty quiet when you're off the gas. Yes. And as soon as you step on it, it opens up. So I'm hoping that's what we're going to get yep. from uh, this system as well. Yep, so we do, we do, like I say, we do a lot of work internally in the silence and using different packings and yep. different routes inside the, the silence to really get that noise. And is it all made in ha is it all made in house? All made in house. Yeah. Um, we'll have a look around the, the factory later on. Okay. Um, and we'll see where it, where all it's made. So if we, I know on the stock system, if we just quickly have a look at the exhaust here. Yep. Um, so I see it's like slightly compressed um, just here on the system. And if yep. we have a look at the stock exhaust, just go underneath yep. the car. There's a very good reason for that. It's because the the OE, OE exhaust on the car um, is is the same, and a lot of other. Uh, competitors don't use this this pressing here yeah um, and it does create some issues so it restricts the flow a bit doesn't it yeah well on the OE not, system no it's not just that it's the ground clearance as well if if, if you want the big ball the 76 um, millimeters yeah and you don't put a pressing in it, the, the exhaust does tend to sit a bit lower and so it's going to cause yeah, issues uh, speed bumps people lowering the cars yeah so, yeah we we've got a special uh, pressing machine in the factory that allows us to incorporate the presses into our system. Okay, so you, the, so this uh, the stock exhaust here, so it is like a kind of a triangle shape. It is, yeah. Um, but I think other systems they don't have that triangle shape, do they? Like you're no. saying, they just hang a bit lower. Yeah. Um, whereas you guys have also done the triangular press shape on here, yep. so you don't have the issue with the clearance. That's right. Because yeah. as you can see under here on my car, I've already scuffed up the under tray from where the car's been lowered. So. Yeah, I don't want to be scraping the exhaust. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Um, the system I've chosen, so I've gone with the um, Daytona tips. These are the Daytona tips, aren't they? Yeah, these are the Daytona tips. They're 150 millimeters, so they sit absolutely perfectly in the, in the cutout on the car. Very nice. Um, they come in two options, polished, uh, which are the ones you've got, and yep. also black ceramic. So again, it's down to personal preference, which one you prefer. If we just quickly hold this up against this stock so what's the size difference there with those two so um well ours is 115 millimeters yeah uh, i'm not quite sure what the originals are so. that's about is that about three inches i think or something I on the stock one three inch, yeah yeah but no as you can see i mean these are a fair bit bigger and they're a fair they look much better don't they yeah much better um, yeah so not not only do we do the daytona ones they are the more popular ones at the moment um they do look, they look similar to the to the OE, but with them being a bigger size, yeah, um, they look more aftermarket. So it's a bit like an OEM plus kind yeah. of look, isn't it? Um, and we also do the indie tailpipes, which yeah. are in the rolled tailpipe again, in a polished or black ceramic finish. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's it. We've covered uh, the catback exhaust system here. Uh, next thing, just got to get it fit to the car. Once that's fitted, obviously we'll get it off the ramps and then uh, we can hear what it sounds like. But uh, yeah, let's get it on. So we're midway now through getting this on. Yeah, just gonna get the uh, original box off now and fit the new one. There it goes. The back box on that is quite a lot bigger, isn't it? Than uh, the one that's going on. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see the difference there. That one, it looks well grotty as well compared to this one. Yeah, much bigger. Also, just looking at the original system, you can see like with the tips and stuff, they're just sort of spot welded on. Whereas obviously here, these are attached. It just looks so much better. This is really grotty. Just sticking the tips on now, the final piece. It is a bit noisy, but it is a workshop, so. Looking good, man, looking good. It's got a 
tighten those up and then we're done. Right guys, this is it. The car is all finished on the uh, lift behind me. Let's take a quick look. So as you can see, it looks much better than stock. These tailpipes look lovely. Nice and shiny at the minute as well. Nice shiny back box. I just want to touch upon the valve system here because this is split. So basically what happens is when the valve is closed, the gases are directed through the box here to make makes it a lot quieter. When this valve is open, it's bypassed. So all the gases literally come straight through here and they bypass the box, which gives it kind of a split personality, which I think is really cool. So looking along here, got it all the way down. This is the press section that we were talking about earlier on. So yeah, very nice. I think uh, there's only one thing for it now. I just need to go and start it up. Right, here we go. This is it. First start. Should be cold as well, so hopefully the camera will pick it up as best it can. Bloody hell, yeah, that sounds nice. That sounds very nice. Nice bit of turbo whistle as well. Yeah. Yeah, so the valve's open, isn't it? So it's bypassing the um, the back box. On startup, the valve's open. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you, you'll get to get some mainly. The car's now in track mode. Yeah, sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. Really good. Very impressed. that's it the scorpion exhaust I've been driving this car now for a couple of days since having the exhaust fitted and all I can say is it's amazing it sounds so much better so much deeper louder the pops are like scarily loud um, and also it's valved so put it in normal mode cruising on the motorway the valve shuts and it's just like the stock exhaust it really is there's no drone perfectly civilized put it in sport mode open up the taps boom you get all the noise if you're considering getting an exhaust I would say do it um, it just makes the car feel all that more special so no regrets here whatsoever yeah so thanks to the guys at Scorpion and um, for having me over and uh, fitting the exhaust for me um, really happy with it the valves just shut there so yeah that's it guys thanks for watching the video hope you've enjoyed it um, if you're thinking of getting an exhaust like I say do it you only live once, life's too short. So until the next video guys, take care and I'll see you soon.